What's up, everybody? Black Ninja 797 here. Welcome back to the Back to Blood, guys. Just getting everything all set up. Alrighty, but what's up everybody? Black Ninja 797 here. Welcome back to another live stream of the Back for Blood beta. This is gonna be technically the last stream that we're gonna be doing because the beta ends officially tomorrow uh, on Monday at like 3 p.m. But instead of doing a live stream, I'll just maybe probably record like a video or two. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be like our last big uh, hoorah today. So I'm looking forward to playing the beta and just uh, trying to do one of my last few objectives. My objectives is to play uh, Nightmare Mode because I have yet to play that at all this live stream or just uh, any live stream to begin with. I just want to see how the difficulty has changed. That, and I wanted to see if I can try to break the game. I just want to see if I can try to find glitches. That'll probably help in the long run. To know what's wrong with the game but I will say this I have had quite a lot of fun over this beta I have not necessarily deemed it as perfect in my eyes but I will say this is I am vastly looking forward to the game I am really excited for a variety of different things about it and despite its issues I still think overall it's gonna be a good game it's just that we have to deal with the set issues Alright, so, the idea is, is that I'm going to end up opening up my tab, and I'm going to see if there's anybody that's online, because I really want to know if anyone wants to play. Right now it seems either a majority of people are offline or not here, that's fine. So you know what? Uh, that's the wrong button. We're going to end up just making our own run of our own. So I am going to load up a run. Now I wonder if I can play Nightmare Mode even if I haven't finished technically Blue Dog all the way through on Veteran. Here, let me load up Nightmare. Now I think I also know what these checkpoints are by the way. I think basically what it's showing is that you can't start the one act until you've completed a certain type of act. So, for example, in the normal difficulty, if I were to go to, like, let's say, Survivor, originally all these were available. So, if I, like, let's say, failed Pain Train, I could just go back to Tunnel Blood. Because you don't unlock the one chapter until you've completed it. And you just go back to the previous. And then, with the veteran mode it only shows the two so it's every other chapter so for example if i didn't unlock pain train i would actually go back to resurgence which is the first one and then for the last one nightmare the checkpoint is the two beginnings so if i were to do blue dog and devil's return in a row i would have to complete all of devil's return to have a checkpoint of the beginning of blue dog and then if i failed blue dog i would have to go all the way back to the beginning of blue dog so that's a little bit sucky, but still worth a try. Thing is, I have to complete Devil's Return until, uh, uh, you know, until I can just beat it. So we're gonna do that here today. We are just gonna be playing a game of uh, Nightmare, and I just want to see how well we can do. Maybe we'll do good. Maybe we won't do good. Uh, I technically have beaten, air quote, uh, the original Nightmare, but fucking barely i uh back in the alpha i joined a random match in progress and i got uh stuck in a lobby at the very very end of the, the game on uh devil's return or evansburg and i just barely managed to complete the finale it was ridiculous it was so hard back then so probably a good idea would be actually do i want to play mob no let's play hawkman you can count on me
But yeah, like, it was so difficult back in the- I'm, I'm assuming that Nightmare probably is still very, very difficult. Because, like, you know, we got all these corruption cards and everything. But, uh, I'm, I am curious how different difficult it is in comparison to the... Why are you already leaving? How difficult it is in comparison to the, uh, the Alpha Nightmare. Yeah, so this is taking place at night, and we also end up having zombies with armor and, like, headshots basically are required, so that's, that's great. So I'm playing with Who Nonsense from Xbox and Ruthless23, Angry Face from PlayStation. And then we'll probably get a bot because it just seems that it just... Yo, I don't understand also this, by the way, is that why is that? Because back in the alpha, the alpha they originally had people join session in progress. They don't seem to do that in the beta. That's like technically a good thing, but like, why is it that? I don't know why it changed if they're gonna make the bots so dumb, Dumbo. Home sounds so good right now. I feel like the bots should be smarter if they're not gonna let people join progress. You know what I mean? It just makes mo more sense. Oh god, Evangel's eyeballs. Back. Do we have a plan? Or are we, you know, winging it as usual? Thank you for playing! Too many ridden. Thank you for playing. It's a funny Holly voice line right there. Yeah, but when, when my uh, Back for Blood review comes out, which is going to be uh, any moment uh, in a, Oh, Jesus Christ, man. But when my Back for Blood review video comes out over the next day or two, I'm just going to be honest about it. There's some things I really d did like and didn't like. I'm just dead. Didn't think it'd be down to us. I completely forgot that nightmare. You die automatically. Are you just gonna auto die? Wait, he went down. Oh, he might have the extra life card. Pretty sure this isn't the first time. And he's burning himself. Thank you. Come on, move it. <laughs> like I completely forgot that you also get less lives for downs as you play this game mode. God damn it. Well, Xbox guy's dead. And you can tell he's gonna die because the zombies are right behind him. And you can't outrun them! Joy! We didn't even get out of the fucking spawn building. Yay! Yeah, th this game really emphasizes co-op. If you're not playing with people that you can trust, then it's completely pointless. This game literally is completely cooperative. And I don't even necessarily mean it from the point of the cards or the, the survivors or the infected either. I just genuinely mean that you need to be coordinated with your attacks. That's all I mean. Like, this game, like, you'd be surprised. The composition isn't in the, the, the meta that you play as. It's just playing together, period. Cash. Like, I could have the best cards, the best survivors, the best oh, guns, and go up against the best special infected in terms of, like, my play style. Like, I'd be like, hey, if I can kill a tall boy quick, I'd rather go up against tall And our bot instant, instantly died. 
Like, bro, the bots are so so uh, stupid. This doesn't feel like the way out. <laughs> but like, bro, like the main thing about this game is being cooperative. Like, such as like just Walker dying Thank right you, there. Man. That was a perfect example. Walker dying right there Shit, shouldn't have everywhere. happened. It just shouldn't have. And, and the thing is, the only way to avoid that is to either A, pray to God that your bots aren't stupid, which probably ain't gonna happen, or have people that know what they're doing. But the thing is, we don't have people that know what they're doing. So literally, I'm playing this, I'm playing a four-man difficulty game mode with one life, and... I'm just hoping I can get lucky. I'm gonna try that one strategy I saw on YouTube. There was this guy that did a thing where he just went and picked up frag grenades over and over again. I'm gonna do that too. Yeah, that's definitely a really good strategy. Don't worry, I've got you. See, it even one shot the special infected on nightmare mode. Never know when I might need this. Well, there's Bot it's Walker. Right. I got you. No big deal. No big deal. Thanks, brother. How'd you end up out there by yourself? Sort of off point. shotgun here. Why? Today is my lucky day. Just hey, at least this will be a good excuse to be able to figure out the uh, difficulty of the game. What the hell is it like? Extremely quiet. It's like the collapse all over again. Come on, we need to keep moving. <gasps> need this. Quiet as hell. Bat here. I'm gonna put this razor wire right here just so that way the zombies can't really get us. Need to reload. I probably shouldn't be leaning with the pistol on nightmare. And there goes uh, Evangelo. I'll take this. <laughs> no. Ow, fucker. He's mailing a snitch. Dude, what are you doing? Bro. My man just doesn't give a fuck. Try that grenade strategy again. I'm 
buy some heal wolves before I do anything. I can't, damn it. This is so unnecessarily difficult. Like, I wouldn't mind if Nightmare Mode existed, but can Nightmare Mode, like, not be the only third game mode that they have? Can they have the original, uh, easy, normal, like, advanced, and, like, and, like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I understand if you want to be, like, veteran, basically, expert, or, or advanced, but can we have, like, the in-between modes, because we either have, like, really, really stupidly easy, which too easy is also just as not, not as good as too difficult either. Guys, this isn't funny. Like, like a, a game mode too easy or too difficult is, is both not necessarily good, but I'd rather have the easy than difficult, so I'll get, get you one there, Turtle Rock. But, like, we got the really easy mode, and then the other modes are way too hard. Can we have a mode in-between uh, veteran and easy. You know what I mean? Like, how about we have... How about we have the normal easy mode... Th then just, a, a, like, a, a normal mode, which is in between... There you go. Uh, the, the veteran mode I played last and... The current easiest difficulty in the game. Then we have veteran mode. And then we have this. Then we have four modes again. We can, we can basically have... Pretty much the original four Luck for Dead modes. Or what you could do is you could have uh, easy, which would be the, the the easiest mode in the game. Then normal, which could be the original Luck for Dead easy. Then you could have advanced, which is uh, veteran. Actually, no. That, hmm. No, I, th I probably think it'd be better to have five or four modes. So yeah, how about we have? How, how about we have the current easiest mode? Then that, oh, how the fuck did I die? The fact that this is the hardest mode at three difficulties is beyond me. It's like they jump to to easy mode, and then like expert mode, and then they have their own uh mode called nightmare. That's how the difficulty feels in this game. If I were to relate to Left 4 Dead, it's like they brought back easy mode from Left 4 Dead but made it extra easy. And then they have expert mode, which is like, you know, like basically like normal experts because the only difference is friendly fire on, on a veteran on here. And then they got nightmare mode, which is just ridiculously like, oh, like oh, really challenging. Like this is unpractical with randoms. Best be prepared for any and all eventuality. They also need to end up having a normal mode and probably an advanced mode. Because veteran mode is basically like expert, and nightmare is basically like expert like tenfold. So yeah, we we need normal mode and advanced mode back. I understand if they don't want to make another easy mode, like which would be like you know more repetitive then, because then you would have two modes at the very beginning of the Keep game being like too similar in difficulty. But uh. It, Did you see that? I'm just giving it a couple of ideas I think would help. I mean, like, dude, like, why is this the- Why is this the thing I get at the beginning of the game as soon as I open the door? But this is an expert mode. This literally is a nightmare. And then veterans, you're expert. I mean, I'm not saying that the normal mode is, is too, too easy. I mean, it still can definitely uh, suck at times, but I, I very rarely fail at it. So, it, it, it's, it's a good thing. It's, it's fine. It's expected. You know, it might get boring. But I'm just saying, can we have something, like, technically in the middle? Like, here. Keep the current easy mode as as the as the new easy mode. That's fine. We don't need to necessarily bring Left 4 Dead's easy mode back. But bring back Left 4 Dead's normal mode in between this easy mode and veteran. And then even have an advanced mode. Bring back Left 4 Dead's normal and advanced mode. And you can keep the Back 4 Blood easy, veteran, and nightmare mode. That way we have five varieties. And that way I can play different scaled games. 
but without having a drastic difference each time. That way I don't have to go to either really easy or really hard. In the middle is what I'm looking for. Because like the highest difficulty that I played in Left 4 Dead, and probably my most consistent one, was Advanced Mode. The second to, second to last. But realistically playing this game, I'm going to play this. I'm gonna play the normal uh, single player survival mode. Because playing this on Veteran Mode to match Advanced Mode... I've been telling you. Oh, uh, that, that just might be I, been fun. I don't want to play advanced mode, equivalent of back for blood. It's too difficult right Phillip now. It's, coming. it's like expert mode. I talked to him, told him my concerns. He agreed. Said I'm right there with you, HR. Right there with you. So you keep telling us. Hey, focus, people. We need to keep moving. Taking this. Cover me, reloading. So far, feeling like shit here. Thanks for noticing, guys. Loading. See that? I hear you down there, Snitch. Yeah, this is basically deemed as impossible. I guess they basically tell. But if you had your buddies, I believe it could work. Damn it! See, my question is where the hell did the rest of them come from? Because I know that they didn't come from just in front of us. They would have to come from around us in order to fit through there. Like, god damn. I can definitely see this being cool as a challenge. I just don't want this to be the final mode. I, like, why is it that we only have three modes? Oh, look, look. Turtle Rock, you at least made the game bearable on one mode. Hell, you technically even made it bearable on two, but practically on one. But the, the last mode, oh my god. It's like, it's like, I mean, look, you got, you got realistic, practical, tough but practical, and then just... Bruh. This needs to either be scaled down, if this is going to be the only one of the three modes, or you need to add in two in the middle and make this like the fifth bonus mode. Because Left 4 Dead had four anyway, so this can be like a bonus fifth mode. Then it would make sense. Because I don't want to, I don't want the game to either be boring because it's easy or annoying because it's difficult. I want in the middle. <laughs> I'll make sure to mention that in my review. Tall boys are unaffected by razor wire. That's actually kind of something good to know, but I didn't know that the others were affected. That's the funny thing. I'm gonna pick Evangelo just so I can like free myself. Yo yo. Hey, what's up? Ah, perfect. What's up, dude? Nothing much, G. Just uh, trying to end up beating Nightmare Mode. We I'll just beat gun. the veteran, the three of us. Did you beat all the maps, or just one of the maps, or how it worked for all you? of them? The last all map was bugged though. Because I, I I'd beaten uh. Devil's Return or Evansburg, but I only got up to the uh, the church on Blue Dog. At least on Veteran. Yeah, we just beat the Veteran. We beat the whole thing start to finish. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm basically yeah. just trying to test this game mode just to see if it's uh if it's gonna need to either be scaled up or down just because I want to oh, get feedback from the devs. Right. In my opinion, it should be scaled down a little bit. Do? I, I also even thought it'd be maybe a decent idea Jerry if they had like this be like a bonus fifth mode and they had like modes in between yeah. different difficulties. Like they have currently either very easy and it gets boring or very difficult and it gets hard. So like I'd say maybe like, what they could do is they could have like a normal and an advanced mode like Left 4 Dead had and this could be like the bonus fifth mode. Right. Yeah, because veteran like it's hard, but it could use a little bit more spice. 
but Nightmare is just too fucking hard. Like, you'll get bodied opening that safe room door, you know? Well, yeah, it's funny. It, it, I could see it being, like, if you had a party and people had communicate, I could definitely see how it must be. Because I doubt they would make this if it was literally impossible. You obviously can beat it, but it requires a lot of coordination. Right. I'm just saying is that for practicality's sake, with only three game modes and either one being really easily, like easily completed, and you can get bored, and then the ones, other ones being extremely difficult, there's not not much gameplay replayability that way. So either scale the, the harder modes back or put something in between the two difficulties, so that way you can play consistently. Hundred percent. This should just get harder. They should, they should add more cards if you're not dying. But well, to be fair, to, yeah, the more yeah, cards you ahead, get, though. the better it gets. It'll, be, it'll get easier, Nightmare Mode. Because some of the cards are pretty like overpowered. Yeah, the cards are super nice. Like, there's a card I'm where if you aim down slice, you get 30% bonus damage. Well, if we're going to do this, there's no time like the present. Uh, this doesn't feel like the way out? See, this is what I was looking 60 for. 60% friendly people, like, fire. Communicate. Yep. Walk slow. <laughs> Announce yourselves. That'll do. See, the one thing that's just ridiculous about this game is to try nice. to get behind the, the AI. I literally, like, uh, just played a game. I just had it finish. It was, uh, we were playing, and we had one bot. The uh, bot was Walker. Instantly, the moment we opened the safe room door, I can even show you, he died at these steps instantaneously. Right here. It was Look ridiculous. That's kind of funny. We gotta sit. Fuck, go back. Come back. Watch your line of sight. So sorry. Look. Aim for the head. Back up. piece of advice I can give you guys, if you're ever tr surrounded by like a tall boy, you can just frag grenade him, one will kill him on any difficulty. Yeah. How much damage does it do to yourself? Oh, if you hit uh, yourself with it, oh, it's gonna insta-kill you. You gotta run away. <laughs> yeah, if you splash damage yourself on insta-kill, uh, uh, sorry, insta-kill zombies, uh, if you splash damage yourself, it's gonna insta-kill you. You have to be far enough away, you can can't receive damage on this difficulty. <laughs> Yeah. The other modes is usually like bandage. half your health. I already have a bandage. A uh, ninja? This way. Yeah. Get back, get back. Make sure you crouch when you're in front. I think it's so cool the gun goes sideways when you crouch. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Back up. SMG. Oh, you're by yourself, Ninja. Yeah, I didn't know you guys were gonna leave. I thought we were gonna hold the room. I'm doing what I can. I'm gonna buy another frag. Ooh. I just found a really good Glock. I found a Glock with legendary extended mags and muzzle suppressor. Oh. It's fully decked out, even as a green stock. That was a really good find. Oh man, are we screwed? Come on. Need to keep moving. Hey, you don't want to be all the way out there. I probably would say the Vector is the best SMG in Back for Blood. This thing is actually pretty decent. Hell, even without extended mags, it's pretty decent. I just wish it did have extended mags, though. I really, okay. really wish because, like, technically the attachments are all the same for the most part. I mean, like. Uh, I mean, I understand that an SMG mag and a pistol mag wouldn't necessarily be able to switch, but then again, though, I mean, actually, they do use the same ammo, so maybe you could. 
But uh, I know that they do make you have to pay for yeah, them sometimes separately here, at the vendor. when the bridge goes down, the horde doesn't come out. One of the things sometimes. that you should be able to do, I said I should be able to be like, hey, you know, I should be able to, e even if it's not necessarily the like pistol to SMG, but like I'm at least ready. another SMG to another SMG or another pistol to another pistol, I this should be able to drag my attachments over like. and carry them over. If I want to pick up a new gun, why is that I can't bring up my old attachments? At least if it's the same type of gun class. At the very least, the same gun class. the right building we just came from because I think they can spawn from the roof. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they're jumping from the side buildings over here on the streets. Which this technically is just unpractical. What have we here? Sleeper. Stop running. <laughs> this thing keeps charging. <laughs> See, these guys are even doing things like sandwiching the AI and like getting it to like panic. Like, that's just smart. Back up. If you guys aren't going to use the firecrackers, we should at least throw it because I got a pipe bomb and uh, right. I don't use it either. I'll keep it in my flashbang. Today is my lucky Here, I'll just throw the fireworks. Just good because it's been a shitty week. Over there. Just a scratch. Just kill whatever is surrounded by the fireworks. Right. than it is. I don't think blowing them up is going to help. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep in mind when someone's in cap, you got limited Thank ammo. You, so just let it loose. I'll take it. Need that. Is anyone still out there? We need help. They've got us trapped. It's okay, we hear you. Oh, thank God. 
We thought we were the only ones left. We could really use some assistance. Dude, honestly, we're pinging is such a beneficial thing in this game because, no, no. hell, other than the call to alone, being able to physically see everything was well, great. Watch out! Burn! Cover me! Reloading! Take this! Back up. Reloading! The movies are right. I shoot it in the head. There may be a couple more times just Need for ammo. luck. Need ammo! Need ammo! I guess he's stuck. Uh, Hawker, left side. that one car that just gave me unlimited ammo? What's that? What was that car that just gave me unlimited ammo? It's for me. Uh, when you're in capped, for 10 seconds we all have unlimited ammo. What, what's it called though? Uh, one side. Mm -hmm. Avenge the Fallen. Thank you. I love it. Oh yeah, it definitely looks really good. You get unlimited ammo, 30% bonus damage, and 20% reload speed. Never know when I might need this. What's up, Bird? Bird, there are birds everywhere. There's a certain path you can go over here to get out. Yeah, being pigeonholed here. Oh come on, man, that shit hurts. Make sure you don't frighten the birds. Nice. Of course, of course. <laughs> oh fuck. There's nest on the wall. Son of a bitch. I just threw a pipe on you got like a, about a few seconds to get out of here. God damn, these zombies are aggressive. Run, run. I don't think I can last much longer. Over here. I'm on ammo. He's vomiting on me. God damn, well, I'm dead. Did he just vomit on me like a versus player and then dip? Just because there's only two of us don't mean it's a date. Okay? We got this. Done for now. There should be no more zombies like in the front until you get to the safe room itself. I'm just scavenging real fast. Hey John boy, uh, you just got creamed on. Yeah, I should LOL. be back up over hey, here. Hey Tim, what's up? Let's see. 
Nah, it wasn't his cream. It was it was his vomit. G. No, don't get those confused. But what's up, Tim? Good to see you, my homie. Maybe not. How you doing? This looks promising. Here they come. So Tim, what do you think about uh, Back for Blood G? You like it? I'll take it. The spiritual Ammo, weapon and successor, if you will. By the way, Tim, you should get this game, by the way, because uh, it's going to be uh, free with Xbox well, Game Pass day one of its release on October 12th. Okay. And it's cross-play and gen play, so you can play with oh, me let's very easily. First. Good, you. I'm doing really good. I'm just trying to uh, take care of the last day of the beta. I'm getting my last bit of content. Uh, I'm trying to get the amount of gameplay for all it's worth. I'm it's playing slow. Nightmare Mode, the last highest difficulty. And I'm also just trying to look for uh, bugs and glitches just to see if the game needs them, like a patch. It's right next to you, Sky. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bro, you got sniped. <laughs> Grab those bandages on the left. Bandages. Get in. Could come in handy. A little self care here. Oh, we got this. Hey, look, there's my dead corpse. Hey, oh. <laughs> Oh, I must have disconnected. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think your buddy just DC'd. Can't you join back? They need this. Yeah, um, I, I think so, yeah. Yeah, you can, can't you just invite him or something? Because I don't think people auto queue or right. fill in anymore with lobbies. I think that you actually have to manually invite them, but you should be able to join back. I will watch for a bit before I pass judgment. Uh, I will install. All right, I got you. Stream seems a little bit laggy on my end. Uh, it's coming through crystal, crystal clear on my end, right, so I it. think it might just be a thing on your end. But uh, it really could just depend, because right now I'm lo looking at my stream through my go. mobile device and also my cell phone. I love my mobile device and my cell phone. Well, that makes sense. My He's firing it back up. My mobile device, and then I've Give also got my cell phone. It, it's not lagging at all. I mean, now it might be lagging because this 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 uh, title screen always lags the stream. That one's even lagging on my screen. But uh, I think the rest of it's just for you because uh, the only time I actually saw a lag and agreed with it was when I saw that the uh, player screen, the title screen. Looks like a cool looter shooter. Well, yeah, it's basically a spiritual successor to uh, Left 4 Dead. It's basically the same gameplay elements for survivor co-op, uh, chapter-based zombie shooter. With a lot of fun, likable These cards characters and special effects. Give this and game stuff. like a very roguelike kind of feel to it too, which I like. Yeah, the card system is nice. Did you guys ever play the Alpha? Uh, no, nah, I didn't. I did manage to get into the Alpha back in December, and the card system's a lot better. It got overhauled in the beta. I can only imagine it must have been some broken cards. Well, no, ironically, what it was is that the cards were just too weak. The uh, the cards were, they had all of them available. They actually, for some reason, restricted them to the uh, supply stream in, in this uh, beta. But uh, in the alpha, it was actually like a lot of them were available, but the majority of them were really weak. Question. Do you know if healing efficiency is affected by that card I have, where if you're in capped, you heal 25 what you doing? of your health. Uh, I have not know because I have yet to use your card, and so therefore I have not combined them. But I can only assume yes because I'll be right back in a second. To have them not stack. But would it stack with you for everyone or just with me? Well, based off the wording, it seems like it would apply to everybody. But I I don't know because I have yet to try the combo. My educational right. guess says yes. What you doing? 
Hey, what's up, Gogeta? Good to hear you inside the Discord. Oh. How are you doing, G? Keep track of that. I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm just uh, playing, uh, you know, Back for Blood for the last day it's available for the it's beta, okay. and trying to uh, get the last available stuff that I want to do for the game. I want to uh, try to see if I can beat Nightmare Mode or the hardest difficulty, or I'm also just trying to look for just glitches in general, and just trying to see if the uh, the game needs uh, a patch for certain things. All right, who's playing right now? Uh, I'm playing with randoms, but I'm also talking to Tim inside my uh, live stream chat. No. Oh. Uh, once I get my phone charged, I will have to go and get stuff done. No, no worries, you're good, Tim. Can you customize your weapons? Yes, Tim. Actually, in this game, there's an area over here called the Vendor. Uh, everyone has to be connected to open this, but you can customize your guns, see? You can actually be able to do a variety of different stuff. You can buy, uh, whatever accessories you want. You can buy, uh, uh, you can buy throwables, you can buy med kits of some kind, you can even buy, uh, uh, miscellaneous stuff such as ammo boxes. Uh, a stun gun, uh, a toolkit, stuff like that. You can buy guns. You can buy attachments for guns. Uh, you can buy team upgrades and buy ammo and directly heal yourself. And this is just what you can buy. Uh, you can also find all this stuff too. All right, we need at least two to three pipe bombs for this one. Do you guys want to maybe stack hunter. copper for team upgrades, like so we can upgrade our health or inventory slots? Because that would also be a really good Here, idea to upgrade our team slots. We don't really need it for these, I don't think. Would you want to be able to throw extra pipe bombs with an item slot? It's a quick slot, so it would be your, um, like, defib. It would be, like, toolkits. Ah. The offensive item slot, those are for grenades and what have you. It's the offensive one. Oh, shit. Okay, how much do you have? Yeah, yeah team offensive upgrades. I have 700, but I need 1,500. Oh, I got... 275. What about your other friend? Alright, I'm just settling back down here. Let me see here. You guys got shotgun ammo? Yeah, I do. Is there. How do I heal my trauma in this room? Like... Do what you, need to do. you don't, unfortunately. Thanks, I'm, I'm, I'm oh. uh, full. Oh, full. Shit, dude. I'm fucked. Yeah, right. Woof. I mean, we can do this. Yo, bro, do you happen to have any copper you can spare? Because I'm going to see if I can try to get us an offensive slot upgrade. I know you just got Let me back. Here. Hold on. I need to wonder. I got 625. Oh, I, I got to get a med kit, though. That's actually enough, though. But if you spend it on the med kit, we wouldn't. They need this. I, I can give you some band-aids. Sounds like a... Not a good deal for me. A med kit right now for you, because you have, you have such high trauma, it wouldn't be effective. Pills oh, would be a okay. your best bet. Yeah, that's true. Problem is I can't drop the bandage. Yeah, that's I have fine. to heal them, but I can't. I'll buy you pills. You, get, you have to drop them from your inventory. I don't do this for everyone. Oh, thank so you. I didn't know you could do don't that. Don't tell the others. Okay. You're up. Need to be prepared out there. Here. Looks like Left for Dead mixed with Resident need? Evil. Uh, let me see. I have 700, so I'm gonna need 1300. Or, uh, yeah, wait, wait, hold on, no, that's wrong. Uh, I'm gonna need uh, 800. Sorry. I don't have 800 to give you. I got 600. I have 275, so that that works out for all of us. Well then, what? Uh, well then, what should I Here, buy? Because I just took all your guys' copper. <laughs> I dropped all mine. Got all mine too. Well, that's just enough. I have 1600. Do. Hmm. My wish could be good. All right. Yeah, but uh, as long as you coordinate him, this uh, is a very good uh, zombie so I'm gonna game. Walk you out would like it a lot. I'll be well. What, what yeah, the other have? guys are gonna play with it too. AKA Ninja's blowing anyone from to play okay, with not, them. Not that too, too bad. bad. I'm not blowing oh, anyone to play with me. I mean, it's just like, why, how, how incentive would pe people be willing to play up, Gogeta uh, if I'd be like, oh, disease. well, you can play this if you want. It's a, uh, you know, I don't want to force you. It's just not cool. It's just, uh, 
just just do whatever you want. That that sounds fucking boring. Uh, like no one's gonna want to do it that way. That sounds brilliant. That this. sounds like a nice game. No, it doesn't. Track on ammo if anyone needs it. Last chance. Yep. Take a leak. All right, I think we're good. We got little birdies out here. So uh, what happened to the beta after? You know, it's closed. So I got one pipe off. Delete or something. Uh, no, you can keep it on your hard drive, it's just that the servers will be offline for it. Alright, cause... Not much point keeping it. What up? What team yeah, upgrade did we buy? Offensive yeah, item offensive slot. Offensive slot, one like for Molotovs and pipe bombs and all that stuff. So we can hold extras. I don't think we thought that through. We don't even have one. We'll eventually, uh, we'll eventually get some. So yeah, this next part's hard, though. My rule of thumb is just uh, to try at least something once, and if it succeeds, you just do it again. Mine is if you don't try, you can't fail. <laughs> oh god. Even worse. <laughs> That'd be a great demotivational quote. Instead of inspirational quotes, you just look up demotivational quotes. Right. What's that? Fuck. I started now, I was trying to kill that thing, but you cut in front of me. <laughs> Hard, hard, hard. Reloading. Uh, uh, reloading. Oh, come on, man, that shit hurts. Well, watch where you park yourself. Need ammo. There's a tall boy coming. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. That's not good. Yeah, that sleeper fucked me up and fucked us up. <laughs> Definitely a lot harder than a veteran. Oh, it's so much. I'm telling you, man, it's like it's it's unfair. What was the closest you guys have gotten on a uh, nightmare mode? I got to the third stage, the one after this. We could uh, we we could keep trying to just do this. Like like I I know it's gonna cut us off for like three runs, but if you guys want, we can just run it back. Right, no, I'm down. Uh, I have like two hours, but um. Yeah, the, once you pass the ogre man, it's easy. All right, so let's get pipe bombs. Pipe bomb. Put the copper where I can see it. Do I want the stun gun? I'm gonna hold off on the stun gun for now. I can keep this up all day. Okay, I'm all set. Locked and loaded. Something oh, big out there. You want to just use the monster so that I waste? Oh really? Oh motherfucker! Oh shit! All right, this is where it ends. Wow. Two of them too. I'm surprised we can get fucked up by that. <laughs> yeah, it didn't even hurt me. Maybe there's spawn protection. Watch me walk. Hey, catch! 
kill him by one more. I should even kill the sleeper. Alright, I'm hop, hopping down. I threw it actually in there, yeah. so hopefully it will have killed the sleeper if it was there again. Is that a snitch or a sleeper? It's on, it's on the left side. Do you not have captions on? Uh, Stinger, my bad. Yeah, if you ever want to uh, figure out what it is, dude, I highly recommend captions. Yeah, I have captions. I, I was reading. <laughs> So Vegeta, what's your day been like today, G? Well, what do you know? Uh, what have we here? Get out, get out, get out, ninja. He ignored me, I wasn't in his line of sight. Ignored it. Stun gun in there. I'm carrying a defense. Stun guns for your top slot. Uh, so actually, no, yeah, you're right. That is for your top slot. Uh, does anyone else want it? There's a snitch out here. We can kill the snitch. Uh, Dirk, if you use your kill ammo box, you can pick up the stun gun. All right. I grabbed the stun gun. I grabbed it. Should have been a second one. Oh fuck. Rip. I'm throwing my pipe bomb when they close. Just don't back them to the birds again. <laughs> Motherfucker. Nice! Let's go home. It here. Yeah, I got ammo, remember. Limited. I think we're moving too slow. The horse don't stop coming. Nah, it was a snitch. Was it a snitch? Yeah. Someone shot it. Anyone want this AH-12? It's got everything besides a barrel. Nah. This don't feel right at all. I got no pipe bombs. I'm oh, sorry. Dude. I'm fucking. It's okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, save yourself. If you can. Yeah, I can't even see anything with the amount of blood. It's bad, right? You can tell me. Be honest. Not too honest. Yeah, my health, I think, is just way too fucked. Oh, man. Oh, it's that snitch. Fuck this up. I have to use a pipe bomb. If we had two pipe bombs, we could get pretty pretty far in there. Dula, get some pills. Oh, I'll buy some for you if you want. I can, I got it. Okay. Stock here. I have a reminder for now. This is a cash that can be addressed later, Google. Actually, hold on. I just had a theory. What if we just shot the crows from the safe room door and we can they can't get in from here? The lot. I don't think you're able to.
Holy crap, I just realized that this Glock has 19 yeah, bolts of mag. All these names might be too. Alright, careful. Let's go kick some ass. Watch out! Exploder! Bird! Big black scary bird! Cover me! Exploder coming in. Back up. There's a sleeper. Uh, I think over there. So the one thing I've noticed about this game is just every gun's basically as good. Mm -hmm. that, that's the one thing I like about it. Is all the guns well, feel really great. You know? Uh, rifle rounds up here. Reloading. That'll do. Ammo here. See that? That does not sound good. I think that's the first time I've ever seen anyone be able to juke out of sleep, where I just did that just now. I mean, it happens. I never had that happen. I thought he got you if he got you. No, 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 no. There was a time a sleeper jumped at me and I shot my shotgun right in front of it as it leapt. Dead. It was awesome. Chuff with the birds. We want to coordinate the pipe bombs. I uh, you, you can go first off the mines inside the uh, tun tunnel. All right, go. Go in the basement. Just throw them behind us, not in front of us. What the fuck is that? Get to the tunnel. How the hell the ogre going to get that much damage? Oh, power friendship, yo. You want to get that power friendship real quick? Get out, get out, back up, back up. Don't waste your ammo on it, just keep moving on. You guys have SMG ammo? I'll be taking it. Yeah, yeah. Take it. Today is my lucky day. Alright, good job. Nice. Did you see it? Did you see it? Couldn't really miss it, man. More SMG ammo? Yes, it is. Thank you. There's a random card over here. Pain pills. Found a healing station. Make sure you, make sure you get that card. Over there. Watch out! Spoiler. Cover me! Anyone have some uh, copper for a healing station? Ow. Oh fuck! Well, what do you know? You tried to jump right over me and got blasted. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> easy, easy. Appreciate You'll it. be fine. I got a defib as well. Look, I'll take over there. If you if you guys give me copper to, to heal myself, I can give you pain pills. I have 150. How much? Do you yeah, need? 125. I got you. 
I got 125 also. Why'd I pick this That's at least 250 then. On the ground. We're, we're gonna find more up, up ahead too. Let me get them pills. Enjoy that. That looks really hurt. Thanks, brother. Perfect. Did you do it? Yeah, man. I'm using a shotgun oh, as well, so okay, watch okay. out when you walk in front of me, please. Back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm all right, sir. Accidents happen. Try to get yourself killed. Reloading. Holy shit. We're good. Now you got me angry. I got you. Good thing we healed. So when the ogre comes out, it's gonna spawn a horde as well. So get the gas tanks out here. Lay them out somewhere. Shotgun, nice. Wretch. Or exploder, technically. Gotta take care of this. You know, I really am glad that video games have evolved so much of this. I'm just feeling like very appreciative right now. Oh, flashbang like, nice. Like, guys, I don't know if you guys know this that are watching right now at home in chat, but uh, it's funny how video games should be, be concerned, uh, like, call it? almost kind of like a, just oh, a hobby for little kids about like a de decade ago, and now video games are looked at as like a not only a pop culture phenomenon, but like a, like a, a world class dead, like business and also just like I gotcha. like hobby and, and uh, career. It's amazing. Like so many people embraced. It. In fact, you can actually use a lot of gaming based stuff for uh, for practical use now of movies, TV shows, and books. Clear. Oh, nice. Like today, I'm gonna see Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds with my dad. Cover me, reloading. It's gonna be sick. Toolkit for that. Handgun. Right. Yeah, man. What have we? A different mag. Got a fast mag for my vector now. Hell yeah. Exploded. Oh man. Do I have a toolkit? I have fast mags. I am so sorry. Hey, help here. Here you go. Well, what do you know, Thanks, brother? Need to Same thing here. Um, right actually, uh, let's just kill the ogre on this one. Don't run. Fuck, snitch. Oh, god damn it. Oh, what? Melee, melee, melee. Never mind. Did you see that? Well, you can't melee this, this snitch to death. Or just fire and squad him. I just used my pipe. That's fine. We're at the end, anyways. I'll take it. We got this. There. Watch out! Need to reload. I don't want 
be the one that dies by that thing. Cover me. Reloading. Well, what do you know? Something's not right here. Oh man, that's pretty sick. All right, back up. There's a oh, horde you're gonna spawn too. Watch your backs. Just wanna throw the gasoline can at the uh, the ogre. Run, run. Alright, cool. Watch your backs. Could come in here. Dude, it's so impractical that you gotta run this far away from oh, the fuck. zombies. Holy shit! Not this much blood. May as well be ringing a dinner bell. You got this. Yeah, I'm super slow. You think uh, you wanna give me some of them pills, bro? Oh, there you go. You're oh, healed. Wait, never mind. <laughs> I didn't know. Exactly oh shit! I, I can't get you. We'll be okay. I'll just unleash my pistol into him. Actually, yeah, that works. Uh, okay, this is actually something I'm surprised to hear about. You guys might be shocked to hear this, but the ogre has jiggle physics on his ass. Right, it's funny. I, I just now figured this out. If you come around the... the oh, never mind. I was going to say if you come around the lip of the door. My eyes open. He just yeeted your ass, man. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps yeeting me. Back up. Yeah, I just came around the corner at a bad angle. Low on ammo. Reloading. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chart my laptop chat. You can, you just your secondary is more. Yeah, but these guys are cool because they uh they're not only good but they're also yeah, really nice. It's like the guys I met that did the veteran Whoa. playthrough uh, yesterday. Yo just <laughs> he was getting a hang on on he's done. <laughs> Watch out, watch out, back up. I was gonna say, don't get that close, that was my mistake. Yeah. He's baiting us out. Just take your time. Oh shit, we're good. Never know when I might need this. I was born for this. Right, there's a chance they can make it, so careful. Reloading, reloading. Bruiser there. Bruiser. Back up. All right, running back. Not today, Rich. Back up. Reloading. My shots. Yeah, these guys know like what exactly what they're doing. They've really adapted this game quite well, chat. Use My that. biggest hope is that when the Back for Blood full release comes out, that this is practical, but I, I, I assume it's probably not going to be. Especially, you want to know what's the reason why you can tell is why? It's because of skill-based matchmaking oh, yeah. not being in this game. I have seen zero sign of skill-based at all. And that may be because this game is a, a cooperative shooter and not a, like, you know, a, like a versing each other shooter. Although, versus mode 
could theoretically have a uh, skill based matchmaking, but I don't feel okay. it in versus. I, I don't feel in this game just on, at all. It just feels very, uh, very. Welcome freeing. back to the club. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Missed you. Missed you guys too? Alright, let's kick some ass. Back with the boys. There's a sleeper in that hut, I can tell. Oh, he's on the outside of the hut. I'm surprised. Normally they're on the inside. Eyes wide, ears open. Fuck. Sorry. You're good. Need light here. Shotgun's Take dangerous, it. man. <laughs> Shotgun. They need this. Checking the car. They probably might summon an alarm by breaking this last door, though. So we should probably do really? this as a coordinated effort. Yeah, it's alarmed. I got a flashbang. Never mind, we got lucky. Look before you fire. Oh shit! Sorry. Oh sleeper. All right, well we made it. Hell yeah. How's it go, boys? Where are you? I thought you were right behind me. Woo! So I got to the chapter that they got to last. Let's go. Alright. That was, was that inflicted on me or what? Friendly damage inflicted. Alright, well, I hear my warden you. is back, so probably what I'm gonna do is <laughs> it's gonna the damage quickly. you, you oh, you've, um, gave to someone. Or inflicted on someone. So that way I don't have another. Dude, they should do, they should just do reverse friendly fire. Else. Oh, true. If you shoot someone, it hurts you. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm I sure. Now, uh, if I can make a suggestion, I wanted to mention that when I did this chapter with uh, two of my other buddies, or sorry, uh, sorry, three of my other buddies, uh, basically what we decided to do is instead of camping directly at the scenario event, we just retreated like really, really far back, and they just came from only. In That's front the best of us. way to go about it, in my opinion. Yeah. I think that if you can get lucky, if you have a uh, toolkit, you can find a uh, crate that has a minigun, and that's really good as well. Is that like the bottom floor of the scenario event? Here, I'm going to also run EMT bag just for you, G, so that way you can see if you're Hold on. Stack. We got one thing that says, aim for the head to put them down quickly, and then the next card says, if you shoot their head, though, they'll explode. That's nightmare, bro. That, that's, yeah, that's the trade off. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck? Pick your poison. I need better cards, though. Oh, yeah. Is there a, a health thing in here? For trauma? I don't think uh, you can. Uh, I think, you, I think you can just heal for all your health and then get healing items. I don't think you can heal trauma. I mean, there others. should be a stash up ahead. I can buy a toolkit and then we can open up that one door for it. Gear up. Here, I just bought a toolkit, that way we can open up that door for a healing vendor up ahead. Like that? Didn't think so. I got a defense.
All right, I'm all set. We'll just kill a couple of these guys first. Hey, one got shotgun rounds. Here. Looks like you could do with some extra rounds. Do what you need Everyone to do. does. Take, take. What you need to take. Thanks. Fun fact, another, another fun fact for you, back in the alpha, on all difficulties too, might I add, uh, if you didn't kill the over, he would go as far as the beginning of this chapter, right, since you're going to see from the door. Oh, oh, damn. Would he just, like, glitch to the doors? No, he would just trap you inside and try to grab you out again, but that's as far as he would oh, go if you didn't kill him. Look. Yeah, spot right there in the street. Funny how we've had this many zombies to kill chat, and yet the, the round hasn't even started. Just keep coming. <laughs> this basically is like the game, but we haven't even started the game yet. Yeah. Would you like some Left 4 Dead with your Black 4 Blood? Mm, yes, please. Speaking of which, even though Shot this game technically is not going to relate to the game, why don't they just do a crossover? You know, they did that with like Zombie Army. Or just trilogy. call it Left 4 Dead 3. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, basically they could. I mean, I'm, I'm saying like since it's technically by Turtle Rock and Balbone's the rights, if they wanted to like get this game Left 4 Dead, Elvis, but they this. couldn't get the copyright, they could just do uh, a crossover. Like the Zombie Army trilogy and Dying Light did it, so. It is a fiddle, I feel you. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's make a move before I change my mind. Alright, please watch it when you, when you walk in front of me. I, I have a shotgun. I mean, I'm flattered, but I'm just not dating right now. It may look bad, but. Reloading! Just not. I thought there would be a sleeper nearby. Snitch. We got a snitch. Careful. Over there. There's an exploder over here. You stop me! You okay? Something and the wretch. Snitch, watch out. Snitch, watch out. You're really close to the snitch, dude. <laughs> We can melee it to death, or a shotgun it. Hey, you really want to put bets on that? Yeah, man. Can I throw a frag grenade? It probably won't. Where is it? Oh, no, 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 it won't. A frag won't, but a melee take will? Care of this. Oh, shit. Oh, actually, back up. It's surrounded. Let it come out. Are you sure a frag grenade's not yeah. gonna kill? It insta kills the tall boy. I tried it. I mean, if you want to give it a shot. By all means, I can place bets. Hey, yeah, it killed it. Never mind. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. I disagree. Because <laughs> I am now dead. Right, I don't want to waste my three. team kill me later. Oh uh, yeah, I probably will. Appreciate oh fuck! Back up in the house. Oh man, he's griefing me. Reloading. Ain't seen much that can run around without a head. That's standard ground. <laughs> I'll take it. Next time. 
Let's melee it. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait for me to get in a better spot. The station uh, should be up ahead. Yeah, trauma skills. That's huge. What I can do is I can open up that trauma area and then I can pick up the defib. Or in this case, the stun gun, because it looks like one of you guys have the defib. If you're gonna defib, let me do it instead. If I'm if I'm up, that is. See my big sniper rifle, man. Is that what you're calling nowadays? I don't know what it was. It's fucking awesome. Patching myself up. Taking this. Chuck it here. Anyone got some copper I can use to heal my trauma? Oh shit, we can do that. I have 200. One side. Yeah, please, because I only have 300. I need 100 more. They won't let me use my band aids anymore. Take it. On the ground. Is that a horde coming? Oh shit, it is. Fuck. Well, we got this room now. They can only come from the front of us. Alright, blast the doors. Don't get in front of the door, please. Yeah. Yeah, that hawker is bugging out, dude. There. Interesting. Yeah, that was not bad. Oh no, you don't. Oh, it actually tells you how long the horde will last. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a moment. Just gotta put myself back Bandages together here. here. It's your lucky day. Anyone else have light ammo? Like, I got like 19 shots, and that's in the amount of ammo because I'm using an SMG and a pistol. You'll be needing this. Today is my that? lucky day. Which is good because it's been a shitty week. I dropped some more. Thanks. I'll take it. Pistol. Okay. Well, we're making progress, chat. What kind of pistol is this? I like how your uh, gun gets it's covered pretty good. in blood. I oh it. yeah, it's abundance. Do you get to keep I any of the I prefer the uh, the Belgian. It's an awesome shotgun. Um, yes, if you uh, you keep your loot in every way except for if you, you die and then they don't fight. free you by the time they get to the next safe room. So for example, if I Sorry, were to die, out. and this happened earlier, and then someone, like let's say, retrieved me from the, uh, Holy the hawker fuck, guts, which is basically sprint. like when you open up people from the closet yeah. back in Left 4 Dead, um, I keep everything. Enjoy the heals, yo. But if they move on <laughs> to the next chapter without freeing me, then I have to start all over again. A little ammo as well. Or at least that's how I remember it. So uh, yeah, other than one instance where they basically Are ignore you, okay, you or can't save you to the, before the next chapter, you basically get to keep everything. Anyone got copper? I got 100. Yeah, I got, I got, uh, the no watch now, I got zero, sorry. Okay. What have we here? What's that? Be very wary, there's birds everywhere. Oh, yeah, I got a hundred. I got a hundred. That's fine. We're good. I'm wise to you, my feathered friend. I got, I have pills. I mean, look bad, but... I might need this. What? I'm only sprinting. Oh wow, the healing efficiency does affect the the card I got. LMG here. Sweet. That's sick. Need that. Oh wow. Find the birds. Don't want to let everyone know we're here. I don't know if anyone can hear me. We should go top left. There's always health and shit up here. True. The birds, though. I think you can get him if you hug Oh, you can't even go up there. Need to patch 
this up. Whore coming. I should probably get to get the up the hill. Ah. Oh, I'm down. We're all dead. I have to go fast. Yeah, damn rip. So I got as far as they did, chat, which is cool. Oh, damn, it's over. Probably take a break, boys. Yeah, I need to go work out. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, uh, nice. I gotta eat. See you, man. It's nice meeting you. Peace. Oh, I'll see you on later if you're on. Peace. Peace. Oh, it's lagging. There he is. Oh, he's from Brazil. Interesting. Yeah, I at least wanted to add the one guy because then I could add his friends later because I'm not going to remember all their names all at once like that. Okay, well, that was about an hour and a half of the one attempt. So maybe we'll, we might want to do some glitches. Let's see if we can intentionally break the game, shall we? I feel like one of the ways we can also do that is versus. <laughs> Yesterday we came close, but hey, here we are. I think that Evangelo is probably the best survivor for um versus in my humble opinion, just because of the fact that he can free himself if he's stuck. Why did I not start with a full team? Oh my god. I'm, I'm like, here's the thing is I know a lot of people leave and, and it gets annoying because they rage quit, but I'm just leaving just because I don't have a full team, man. Like, it, it gets old fast. Alright. Come on, game. Come on, game. I, I want to try to break you, so. But in order to do that, I feel like I want to be able to have more people in the lobby. We're getting mac and cheese sandwiches. Ooh. Getting mac and cheese sandwiches, that's fancy. Got one more. Who had those uh, flaming hot mac and cheese things? They they, they put crushed up uh, uh, hot Cheetos on top. Yeah. On a on a lote is what it was, and boy, that that was my shit, mm. dude. That was so good, and we haven't been back since. It was just, it was in this little Asian market area. 
little joint that uh, somebody opened up, like a pop shop. Oh, I forgot to put my points in. But uh, it was good, man. We just never went back. I was like, man, we need to go back to that motherfucker. It's <laughs> delicious. Man's thinking about some snacks. Gotta keep my man. But we, we have a, a place gonna open up over here. Uh, at the end of the bar, over there, okay, you know where the goody-goody is? When you turn yeah. on the street? So a little bit further down, if you just keep going straight that way, like another, to the next stoplight, there's a place called Mac and Mac, Mac and Cheese and More that's going to open up pretty soon. I was like, ooh, I am intrigued with the Mac and Cheese and More. <laughs> mac and Cheese and More. Fuck yeah, dude, I love some Mac and Cheese. Dude, it's funny, like, Mac and Cheese has become, like, almost still. considered, like, a chance. gourmet dish. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're probably going through the their cards. It's really weird, because I, ne I never stairs. thought yeah, my life that Mac and Cheese that. would be considered yeah, that. that. I'm going to meet these guys. Oh, one like, of them isn't moving. They're, all, all, like, awfully uh, so uh, one that looks uh, like it's loud, and they're talking quite a bit. But, like, damn, dude, I, I find it funny how that, like, Mac and Cheese has become considered, like, literally, like, a gourmet dish over the last several years. In fact, it's even getting restaurants dedicated to it. It's ridiculous. I never thought that something as simple as goddamn Mac and Cheese would end up being, like, one of the most popular dishes ever. It's really funny. Like, if, like can you imagine, like, Gordon Ramsay, like, serving you something and you're like, nah, dog, I want some Mac and Cheese. alive. I thought I died for a second. That's why I didn't move. The view model was so weird. Actually, I'll be in the house rather than on the roof. Get them all, they're separated. Take care of one. Wait. Reloading. Damn it. Wait. Hey, catch. Gotcha. Or a different one. Okay, I'll do off more. Yeah, I got Holly really low because of that. The explorer's pretty damn practical, I say. <laughs> yeah, I really don't use the exploder variant of the uh, the wrench that much, but it can definitely be useful. I think realistically, practically, that they don't expect you to stay as a certain character the whole entire time. They probably do want you to switch. 
And see, I have been sensitive to switch on the fly because, like, I mean, why not? I mean, the only thing you may miss out on is the fact that there may be a time where you don't upgrade your character that game. And, and that's the one that you need, but... I mean, what's the chances of that, you know? Whatever you need, my friend! I'm gonna say where the hell is my other teammate? Do I have my other teammate? I hope I have my other teammate. Or is Mini Mojo Jojo? Join party, invite the party. Is he just not here? There he is. Wow, he really had to goddamn connect. All right, listen up. We got Britain inbound, and you need to secure the area. Fortify yourselves. Stay alive. We've had reports of dangerous swarms of insects. Could be some new mutation. Ammo. You better keep clear. We pulled back the local defenses at EJAC. Their equipment should still be on the ground. Use it. Nice! Meds here! Bandages! Just what I wanted. I'll keep a med kit. I was gonna say, I might not fi find a practical use for it, but it'll be a great payoff if I can use it. Need this. Bandages here! Meds! What's that? Grenade! Molotov! Ping has to be active at the time. Okay. 
out just a little bit longer. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Making me proud out there. Keep it up. There we go. For some reason, my laptop version of the stream crashed. But the good news is, though, is that when I have my settings lower the way they do, CPU ain't that bad. What's up? How's it going? Hey, what's up, Tim? How's it going, G? Ah, oh, not too bad. What do you think about the game, homie? You want to prove what badasses you ah, are? pretty good. What have we here? Yeah, this game really is quite fun. I think it will Technics. do really well at launch. Yeah, what day did you say it launches? October 12th, and it's free on Game Pass Day 1. Sweet. They're on their way! Get ready! I'm just trying to figure out why stuff's not going according to plan on PC. In terms of what? Uh, I claimed some uh, Twitch Prime gaming stuff and it's not coming through. I'm not I'm pretty sure we'll come later. It's been about a week. Did you get the right info? I'm wondering if I didn't accidentally tell it to give it to me on console instead of PC. I was gonna say, sometimes you might have just said the wrong account or something. It's all the same account, that's the problem. But yeah, man, that game looks like there's a lot more to it than any of the others. Oh yeah, most certainly. Like, Back for Blood is really, really cool. I mean, it's still got the normal, like, survive four survivors versus the, uh, you know, the special infected and the chapter-based cooperative campaign. But uh, they're gonna have eight characters, and you can pick uh, different combos with all of them. They all get different powers or abilities that make them better than uh, certain ones in certain regards. Uh, guns can be customized with attachments and rarity, and there's a lot more than a general than there used to be in Left 4 Dead. Uh, you can even do things like aim down sights. You can do even things like uh, fucking. Uh, I gotta think to save this guy. Thank you. Uh, you can upgrade special infected. Make make yourself stronger in verses. Uh, they got a whole bunch of new equipment and stuff that you can use to like be able to upgrade your guys and save yourself and all that stuff. Uh, what else? Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, different brand new maps are definitely cool and different concepts. Cross play, cross gen play. Um, that's cool. gonna yeah, make it a lot easier to find people to play with. That's it's gonna yeah. be key. Well, also just being like free on day one on on Xbox for Game Pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost everybody on Xbox that's into that kind of game is gonna be on it immediately. I wouldn't be surprised if the servers for it just crash on day one. Sorry, I was in the middle of concentrating really heavily on verses. 
Uh, but yeah, like, Xbox has the biggest incentive because uh, PlayStation and PC, they gotta still pay for the game. But uh, Xbox gets it uh, for free on Game Pass Day 1 because originally Left 4 Dead used to be an Xbox 360 exclusive, but now with it being on PlayStation, they're like, how can we hook up our boys Xbox again? It's just like, let's just give it to them for free. This isn't over yet. Yeah. <laughs> you can also personalize your characters and like make them look all cool with cosmetics. Um, there's like a supply stream or line. There's a headquarters or, or a player social space with uh, Fort Hope. And you can interact and do like mini games on there and like uh, have fun on that. Um, there's yeah, a can you take stuff. like money and guns and stuff like that that you collect uh, in chapters and go to the little club space and just customize everything or that's different there's a different currency so what you'll end up having is every time you complete a chapter or complete a game in general you end up getting these things that are uh, I don't know what they're they're right now called I just call them supply line points because there's no definitive name for the currency but every single time you play you're gonna eventually get some of those and those accumulate and then you use those to redeem the supply line and the supply lines you can get more cards uh, customizations for cosmetics and uh, other stuff cool The biggest benefit about this game is definitely the PvE. There's rumors that uh, the final game is going to end actually end up having uh, like nine or ten maps at launch, which is double Left 4 Dead 2s. Whoa. So far, there's been two in the game, and uh, they're really good so far. You know, Tim. The beta is available up until 3 p.m. Eastern uh, tomorrow, and the beta is currently free. If you just look it up and just want to download it, you can just download it. Uh, let me switch my TV over to console then, because that's where I got uh, all the RAM right now. Understandable. running like nine games on PC. I got you. It probably would be better for you to run it on your console anyways because the game is even demanding on my PC. It takes up a lot of your CPU and GPU. It's not it's not unbearable, it's just because I'm streaming, but uh, if you're if you're not streaming that's just the only thing you're running and you'll be fine. Well, I don't know what your specs are compared to mine. I think I know you should just have less. Like, uh, what's your graphics card? Uh, I can't remember the exact numbers or anything, but it's, a uh, Radon. It's, Reloading. I know it's, uh, right up there, actually probably even a little bit better than Jake's. Yeah, I think Jake has the, the weakest PC, but that's cool, though. It means that you'll be able to probably run the game, no problem. Mine is almost as beefy as Parker's. PC. on Steam and I uh, I got an Intel i9 uh, 108060 with NVIDIA like the game by itself is fine it's just that when I stream it struggles a little bit but uh, the game for the most part is not really that graphically demanding so the only the only game I really have had troubles running was uh, Call of Duty the newer ones back in the day but I'll eventually upgrade this PC. Down. The only game that I have not been able to run on the maximum amount of graphics is Wildlands. 
Well, yeah, Tom, and I should I... very demanding. Yeah, and then uh, GTA 5, I had to lower some of the settings, not all of them. Two extremely demanding games. Yeah, I know that some Tom Clancy games, the newer Call of Duty games, technically, if you're streaming this game for at least my PC, Cyberpunk's pretty demanding. I know that's another one. Uh, there's just a couple. That is games. like the most demanding game, even on console. Have you seen the last generation version of Cyberpunk? <laughs> Considering the fact that I'm still playing on regular old Gen 1 Xbox One for Cyberpunk 2077, yes, I know exactly what it's like. <laughs> yeah, I got a free version of uh, Cyberpunk for the PS4 because I got Murray's Game Share on PlayStation and I get to play it. <laughs> I will tell you this much, it is very demanding and some of the things you have to be pretty quick on but it's fun it's interesting my first playthrough you can just basically use your first entire playthrough you know just do like half a playthrough and treat that as your learning experience and then go back through and just do it again Oh, oh, never mind, it doesn't let you run out of the map. It will delete all of your save progress because you only get one save. But... The first playthrough that I did on Cyberpunk, I was still in debt and needed upgrades like crazy. Yeah. Then my second playthrough, Please, I literally have barely even gotten into the story of the game, and I'm completely out of debt. I have money like crazy. I have almost all the upgrades I could ask for. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, so like I said, the first playthrough is your learning experience. Take it seriously, but just know that you should probably restart it eventually. Because you're gonna get better at it and you're gonna know what to expect and stuff like that. Wait. Yeah, I, uh. It really just depends for me, because I, I don't know if I'm going to be a uh, cyberpunk guy, but uh, I, I got it for free, so I can always try it eventually. Well, the nice part about it is, is that eventually they will make it uh, multiplayer, and I'm not sure if they're doing cross-plat. Well, that's another whole can of worms if you try to do cross-plat. Yeah, but if they do it for cross plat then that'd be good because then I can hop onto my character on con on my Xbox and I can help you out on yours. Where are you win? Oh no, he might be able to free himself is what it is, yeah. I have back for blood and stalling. It really shouldn't take that long to install. You should probably be able to get it pretty easily. You can just be able yeah. to join for like the last day to get the general just in experience. They got uh, two full campaigns. They got versus mode. They got the social space. Uh, and then you can do everything within it that you would like to do. I've beaten yeah. the, uh, both campaigns. I've beaten uh, one of the campaigns on the second hardest difficulty veteran, got really close on the other one, like to the second to last chapter. Then this most recent attempt, I did the first map to the second to last chapter. 
Uh, I played all the versus maps, played as all the special infected, played against them, played with all the guns, all the attachments, all the survivors. Uh, used the card system, the social space. There's a lot of different things you could actually end up doing that will be a benefit to you. Yeah, I plan on uh, maybe getting on to that tomorrow, I'm hoping. It's available till 3 p.m. Eastern. I got a lot so of stuff to do. Because they're running off of Pacific time, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'll talk to you off stream and tell you what's all going on here. Yeah, you're cool, Tim. Yeah, if we don't play today, um, I can see if I can try to find some tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. We'll see how far I can get into the stuff that I need to get done today, and I'm hoping to get most of it done today so that I don't have to really worry about it tomorrow. Oh yeah, I know what you mean, trust me. Well, I'm finally... Trying to get my setup in here, so. LMG we'll see if my setup's even together tomorrow or if it's completely torn apart. Because <laughs> hmm. I still gotta build that desk yet. I'm pretty sure you'll be good to you. Shouldn't take me too long to build the desk. It's. Moving everything else out of the way, that's gonna take a long time. That was an accident. I swear, it was an accident. Reloading. Patching myself up. Well, the phone is charged, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'll talk to you later, John. See you later, Tim. Team, we gotta get out of this room. Well, we won that round then, team. What's the goal? Excellent work, cleaners. Your courage and tenacity scored us a major victory today. You're the last one left. Last one left of who? In my lobby? I mean, technically I'm not even the last in my lobby. Alright, supply lines. You made the right choice. Can't afford it, god damn it. Hey, you can trust me. <sighs> I think I'm going to play like 
one more game chat and then I think I'm gonna wrap things up because that way I can have time to be able to record gameplay because uh, if, if I'm just specifically a live streamer all day I might not have the time so I probably will just do one more game And plus also I've just basically have done the beta for all it's worth. I could try to uh, continue to get uh, attempts on nightmare mode but the guys I had got off and uh, to try to get at least just Evansburg is going to require me to go over my time limit anyway. Let alone getting that and Blue Dog. And there's only two people on the enemy team. God damn it. Come on, man. I want a full game. Like, is that too hard to ask? That is also fucking hot in my room. I also just want to have my air conditioning on, but I can't because the fucking microphone will pick it up obnoxiously. Ways. Ten. Ten. Ten dollars and um, no, eleven dollars. Eleven dollars and like thirty cents. Go to common power and just level up power, cause that's gonna be the only thing that'll help us. Cause once we can get it to level two when we're attacking, then we could just basically be. I know that guy's giving me MLG callouts, but I'd rather have more people. I'd rather just have more people. I'm also not wanting to stress myself out about this, so if it just doesn't like you, I just might just shit land end the stream. I'm not mad or anything, it's just that I basically have done everything that I feel like I can do as a person in this beta. At least for what I want to do. I, I could technically play more but i just want to take a break from it and like just do something else the main reason why is just because i just the game in comparison to other games i could play right now and it's the right is price just boring i like the game i really do and i know more content will come out to keep me from getting bored plus also there's content that i can make for youtube videos 25 to level one in the beta but i can do it for release such on the horde level make sure everybody else puts guides, it on their horde uh or or just yeah. easter eggs stuff like that you know dlc season uh, but at least right common. now, for the moment, at the current time in the beta, I've basically done everything I, I feel comfortable doing without feeling like I'm stressing myself uh, out or getting bored in. But, oh no, I know some guy put defense to tall boy. Mm -hmm. That's good and all, because I play. God damn it. A queue for one more, but I, I don't want to force it. I just want to have a good time on this game. I, I want to, like,. Play the game so obnoxiously hard that it makes me. Uh, I guess that's just a sign to just end the stream. I just want to play this so obnoxiously hard that I actually get frustrated with it. Cause yeah, sure I could like try to test out a theory about being like, what's a good game mode, what's a bad game mode, then I might just burn myself out. And the game's coming out in two months, and I really don't want to do that. So yeah, guys, I think I'm just gonna end here today's stream. But this beta has been extremely fun. It's been very uh, broken at times. And it's also been extremely frustrating at times. But for the most part, really, really well done. So shout out to you, Turtle Rock. You've done a really, really great job. I will probably go right to making my Back for Blood uh, beta review video tonight. And then have that get posted by tomorrow on Monday. And I'll uh, be my honest tomorrow. thoughts. And hopefully the no game will improve for the better. But yeah, guys, I hope you end up enjoying one. today's live stream slash video. Yeah. If you did, please consider dropping a follow like comment nice. subscribe depending you. on where you're watching this from if you're watching this as a twitch stream definitely please drop a follow or super close to 250 followers i'd love to have you join me on the journey so we can end up doing these uh, 250 milestone which is going to end up being the minecraft hunger game so make sure you stay tuned for that and if you're watching this as a youtube video please leave a like comment subscribe we're making videos twice a day every single day including back for blood content and left for dead so if you enjoy and want to get these spicy memes make sure you do so but yeah, guys, I hope you end up enjoying another YouTube video or live stream for the most neat content creator you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys. 
Peace out.